The next job that we have is from Ember to change some messages on some electronic highway signs. The messages are going to be life changing, I'm quite sure. So we're going to connect into our network here. And we're going to change what is supposed to be important vital information for people to safely move through traffic to be whatever it is that Ember wants to write out. <clears throat> I have two execution agents to handle this. The first one, XA, is going to pick up file 300, which contains the message that Ember wants to put into the sign. XB is going to be the one responsible for writing to the sign. Uh, the way that the sign works, there are three registers, and for this job, we only care about two. Uh, CLRS is the clear screen one. If I write anything into this register, it will clear whatever is currently written on the sign. Data takes in a data packet of three values. You have to send in three values in a row to put a character where you want it to be. The first one is what row do you want it to be on? There's three rows and it starts at zero. Most programming starts counting at zero. So row zero, row one, row two. Then it has the same thing for the columns. So that's the second value that data wants is the column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. And then the third one is the character that corresponds to like, is it an R? Is it an O? Is it an H? Those are, these are uh, characters. The numbers here will determine what symbol will actually show up. So what's gonna happen is A is going to grab file 300 and head on over to be in the, the signs network. And the reason that we're actually moving over there will be clear in a second. Because theoretically A could just stay here and just relay over, but we wanna be over there. B is going to come over and clear out the screen for us to start writing. Uh, this is where I learned a very useful trick. I found this on a Reddit, a Reddit post. If I want to tell something rip to do to loop through something like nine times, I could have like the value nine saved into X and then I could subtract from X with each loop and then test is X equal to zero. Uh, and if so, we're done looping. But somebody found a shorter way of doing this, which I started to use in most of my solutions whenever possible. So the way that this works is you copy how many times you want to do something into the T register. Now, usually the T register is a little bit difficult to work with in a loop because you need to use it to check your conditions for whether you want to end your loop or not. But that this shortcut is brilliant and I love it. So I copy nine into T. This is how many times I want to do something. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass in X to data, which is the row. Currently, X is zero. Then I'm going to subtract the value of T from nine to tell me to give me my column. So nine minus nine is going to be zero. And then theoretically, we need to then give nine minus eight for one, two, three, four, all the way up to eight. Because remember, it, there, even though there are nine columns, it starts counting at zero, so it's columns zero through eight. Uh, so we're gonna subtract nine from nine and write that. So now it knows what column we want. Then we're gonna take in the value that was sent by XA, which is a 20, and that should give us a T. Then the brilliant thing that B will do is it'll subtract one from T, that'll give us eight, and then it's going to do a T jump. Now, remember I said earlier that zero in the T register is false and anything else is true. So because T is not zero, it is true. It's going to T jump. It's going to jump back up to character and it is going to do the next character. And it's going to keep doing this until T becomes zero. So we've got the word think. We're going to keep going. Now T is zero. We're no longer going to T-jump because T is zero. So now what I do is I add one to X so that we're going to start writing into the next row. And then I jump back up and we're going to start writing the next row. So B has has an idea of when like what row we're on. But B does not really know that there are three rows and that we need to kill and like we need to stop uh transcribing once we've finished the third row that's going to be a's responsibility so a is the one who's currently reading the file and telling b to write things into the sign 
So A is going to continue doing this. So you'll see now we're writing the second row. Think about. And now we're in the third row. We're, we're, once, we're continuing to send in row, column, and then value data packets into the data register. So think about it with a few exclamation points. Very life-changing. You'll see now that A sees we are at the end of the file. And since we are, we're going to execute a kill command. We're going to tell A, we're just fire the cannon at B because he's done. We don't need him to, we, we need to clean up. We need to leave no trace. So we're going to kill B. B's dead. And we're going to wipe the file we're holding because we don't want to leave any trace of that behind. And then A is done. Job complete. And you'll see uh, fight the power. You'll see Ember's got lots of wake up sheeple, lots of platitudes for us. Question your reality, stuff like that. Uh, she'll wonder why this doesn't really re re uh, result in a massive revolution, but that's for her to figure out, not us. We just were in charge of overwriting the signs, which we did. So hopefully that made sense to you. Lots of uh, life changing advice in here. Did pretty good on the cycles, not so great on the size. Uh, it's it's pretty much usually impossible to become like the best in everything. If you want, usually if you want to get maximum cycles or I guess minimum cycles, you're gonna trade off for higher size and activity. Some people will uh, just try and optimize one specific one. Like here's my low cycle solution, here's my low size solution. Like and there's different ways of playing the game. Whatever to you is fun. I generally try to go for lower cycles, but I don't kill myself to try and like minimize it as much as possible. I try and get a reasonable solution and then I'm happy with it.